concentration. Aha, uh -huh. what's up guys? I know I'm kind of dark, but I wanted to capture the sunset behind me. How are you all doing? This is another vlog, same attire, but don't mind. So, as I was doing the village uh, tour, I came across, um, is a primary school teacher, and there's something interesting that I want to show you in his homestead. Some fly was just flying around me. So, first of all, uh, we're, going to, we're going to go around his homestead. He's going to tell us what he's planting uh, in his uh, farms. And then we're going to get into a, to a tobacco barn or the curing house. I don't know that that's how it's called, but then a better word for it is coming because he'll be here by himself and he'll be telling us about the tobacco barn. Remember I told you that in this village or in northern Uganda, the cash crop that they grow in every homestead is tobacco so we want to get into the barn and see what's happening inside there after tobacco is plucked from the garden meanwhile let's enjoy the amazing sunset that is behind me i told you that uganda has a very mountainous terrain so you can see the sunset behind there over the beautiful mountains yes so let's get into it let me get to where he is and uh, say hi to him maybe i'll say hi to him in the ugandan way you know in uganda Guys, let me tell you, you know in Uganda, ladies kneel when they are greeting people, so maybe I'll do it, he get to greet him that way. Okay, hello. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. How okay, are you? I'm fine, thank you. Yes. Thank you so much for welcoming me to your compound. Yes. I so much appreciate. Yes. My name is uh, Nancy. Yes. Yes, I'm, uh, I'm from Kenya. Yes. East Africa, Africa. Mm -hmm. I'm a teacher, just yes. as yourself. Yes. And uh, I'm also a content creator, yes. a YouTuber. I make videos all around the world. It's okay. And I post on YouTube. We are showing Africa to the world. For sure. Yes. Yes. So You're almost welcome. Thank you so much. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. So maybe we can get into it. Okay. You call me Tasko George. Okay. Yes. Okay. To that, that, the other side, yeah? You can you can tell me about maybe your compound. What yeah. is? I see several houses on your compound. Maybe you can let me know what they are. Mm, the, the, this other big one here, my body house is eighty by six. Okay. Yes. So this is the main house. This is the main house. All right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. What about the other small one? This small one is the kitchen. Ah. Uh -huh. those, those are for the kids. Oh, that yes. is the kitchen. The, then the, the other one is for the kids. Kids, the, the girls. And then there's also another one here for the kids. Boys. Oh. Yeah. So there's another one here. Yeah, that's for boys. This one is for boys. Yes. Okay. Mm. What about the other one? The, the other one there. Yes. Is for a brother of mine, but he's not around. He's in Kampala. Oh, it's for yeah. your brother. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Why do I think um, it's kind of traditional because mm. the current society where we are. Mm. Kids tend to sleep together with their parents in yes. the main house, such yes. as this one. Uh -huh. So it's very unique to find someone who mm. is still really embracing the traditional um, yes. Yes. traditional yes. culture mm -hmm. where boys and girls used to have their separate homes uh -huh. or houses rather. Yes. Yeah, so I'm happy to see that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so that is it. Yes. We, mm -hmm. uh, that is the point. Yes. Uh, I'm so happy to know that. <laughs> but then, why did you put boys next to you and then the ladies are very far away? They are not all that the distance that's near. This one is next to you, you see, the proximity to the main house. It's yeah. very close. Yeah. But this one is far away, yeah. you see? Yes. It's next, it's, it's further from uh, the compound. Mm. Or because ladies like to cook their place next to the kitchen. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's why from here they go just go to the kitchen direct. Okay. That is the reason. Okay. Uh, so that is nice. Yes. Are the buds yours? These are mine, yes. Ah. Uh, you also keep these buds? I keep them. Oh. Even also we keep cows. All oh. that they, they are still outside. Mm -hmm. uh, normally I put them just near there. Okay. Because of oh, these thieves. Oh, yeah, so that uh, they are not stolen. They are not stolen. That is nice. Yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I see also have a uh, chicken yes. around the hens, uh, the ducks as uh, well. Uh -huh. So you are a farmer. <laughs> I'm a farmer also. You also have cassava. Cassava. Yes. At the same time, I'm also, I also teach. You also teach. Yes. All right. To, to supplement. Uh -huh. <laughs> that is nice. So <laughs> we can get to. How do you call it? This is tobacco barn. Okay. Mm. You go ahead of us. <laughs> In front of us. <laughs> I salute you. Oh, thank you. How are you? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, guys, we are heading to the tobacco barn where he's going to show us what takes place inside the tobacco barn. But then, uh, 
at what stage does the leaves of the tobacco get to inside the bulb? For for kiwari, yes. The first thing is the process of growing this tobacco. Mm -hmm. The first point is you have to reopen the land. After reopen the land, mm -hmm. and then at a certain time during the rinsing, in fact, then you now what type of, you put the seedlings mm -hmm. close the river bank. There is a river here. Okay. The That's you saw there. Eh, yes. Yes. You, you put those seedlings there. Mm -hmm. and then after. After germinating, yes. you, you, you water them continuously. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Then when they reach at a certain level, there is what you call mother bait. Mm -hmm. eh? Mother bait. Mm -hmm. Then after from mother bait, you now transfer them mm -hmm. to a certain bait. That's what you call resetting. Eh? Then okay. after resetting, <laughs> then from the nursery bait there, you now trans transport them what to the field. Okay. Mm, plantation not take place. Mm -hmm. Then you, you keep on weeding them, monitoring and what have you. Mm -hmm. When they begin to flower, there's what they call what topping. You go and top. Using uh, fertilizer? Or? Not used fertilizer. Uh -huh. There is a chemical called saccharide. Okay. Uh, normally, this one normally comes from Kenya. Mm, you use that one for topping. Okay. From Kenya? Uh, yes. It comes from? From Kenya. Kenya? Uh -huh. Yes. Those things are from Kenya. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Then, mm -hmm. there is a, that container that makes you use. Kenya. Eta. So you say this is from Kenya? Yes, these are from Kenya. All that is, these things have been removed. So mm. I've gotten one product that Kenya mm. exports to Uganda. Mm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Then after topping, you know, leave it there. When they begin to now mature. Yes. Then that is the time. You only pick the those those who are, which ones are ready. Mm -hmm. The wrapper rap, ones. You pick them. Then you now put them out in the barn. Oh, then you put them in the barn? Yes. Okay, maybe you open the barn, we uh -huh. get to see the sections. Yes. But then from afar, guys, that's how the barn is. Mm. It's very tall. Yeah. How tall is the barn? Uh, this one is uh, about uh, six meters. This is six meters. Six? Six, six meters so high. The height of yes. the barn is six mm. meters. Mm. What's the essence of having it at six meters? Huh? What's the importance of having it at six meters? Yeah, to accommodate men. Ah, uh -huh. okay. mm. Six so, meters, you accommodate a lot of tobacco inside. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the heat from the pipes yes. can go up, up to the there. top. Mm. If it goes up to eight, nine meters, uh -huh. the heat here will not be able to reach the tobacco uh -huh. up there. It yes. Will cure. Yes. So six meters is enough distance mm. that this heat is transmitted through these pipes and all the tobacco it, gets equally yes. Keyword. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm. okay. There is tobacco inside the red there. This is the dried one now. So this is the dried one? Uh, yes. You can touch. You can touch. Uh-huh. Don't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> you're daring money. <laughs> 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 As I said today, <coughs> mm. I am not sober. Mm. Hi. Okay, mm. so these are the dry ones, these right? Dry ones. So they are, they are this way up to the top. Uh, up to the top. <laughs> Wait, how do you get to the top of the barn, being that it's six meters it high? Is, we just, you know, there are these, these ones here. Get inside with it. You can come. <laughs> these ones here, this is, this is this madala. We call this one madalas. Leathers, yeah, kind yeah, of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you, when you're putting these things, mm -hmm. you climb up. Is that okay? Oh, okay. You climb up like a, like a mm -hmm. Your feet are on the floor. Cheta ro amvedo up piba. Ah, yeah. Oh. Hey, it's hot here. Yeah. Hot pipe. <laughs> Not all that hot here. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's hot inside Now, here. Okay. You see here. Mm -hmm. When you are putting these things, arranging them, mm -hmm. you climb up. Okay. Like this. Mm -hmm. You climb up like this. Ah, you climb up as you arrange. Yes. Ah, this wow. is how you arrange them. Oh, okay. yes. Till you get to the top of the to band. The top. Oh, Now, wow. when you are very few, mm -hmm. you move up, you come down, ah, ah. put in them like that, that till is, they are finished. That is tedious. Ah, but it is yes, there's a, there's a man in it. Yeah, okay. Yes. So, do you know this one? What do you call this one? Is this a What is this? A uh, weighing whatever. Ah, uh, uh, you tell me the name. This is temperature, for measuring temperature. Very good. Thermometer. Thermometer. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> so, at the same time, there is regulation. Yeah. When the leaves are new, mm -hmm. you give this temperature. Uh -huh. You see here. Yeah. 
after I collected them from the field, yes, they are still at this stage. Ah, okay. Well, from the field. Aha. Uh -huh. Then okay. when when they reach here, they now begin yellowing. Mm -hmm. You see, this is the color. Mm -hmm. they, the, but then when they are still at this, you don't put the fire. Just a small one. Mm -hmm. Then when it reaches this level, you know, keep on increasing the fire slowly, slowly. Mm -hmm. When they are now yellow. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Till it's mid rib drying. Yes. Mm. Okay. Uh -huh. mid -rib, yes. This one here. Yes, the, the leaves, parts of the leaf. Uh. We have uh, the one that is usually in the middle. Uh -huh. the yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This one here. Uh, this is the one. So, what stage are these ones? This one is here? Yes. Stage is here? For, uh, for according to this thermometer. Ah, this is already dried now. This one is already yeah, dry. This is not dry. Oh. Mm. We are waiting to be removed to out. Moved out. Sorted uh -huh. and ready for sale. Sell. We take it to the market. Can someone consume it the way it is? Yes. yes. This one, they get paper, you roll, you mm. smoke. Yes. That's what Even this one here can this this smoke. one here is a very good smoker. <laughs> That's, yeah, that's done by women. Oh, so yeah. you can use the same one you pl place it under your tongue. Uh -huh. Aha, yes. that's uh -huh. a women smoke. Yes, it's in powder form. Mm -hmm. You put under the tongue, they consume it, they enjoy the the, the 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 taste. I don't know how, but that's how the women do it. For them, the, for the women, they mix it to the ash. Ashes, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that they don't get intoxicated faster. Or how it is does. it? It does. <laughs> it's more direct. Mm -hmm. it's stronger than smoking. <laughs> really? Yes. yes. <laughs> So how do you light, maybe, how do you light your system to ensure that it, it goes to the top? The, the it is the outside there. Ah. It is outside. So guys, let's see how yeah. this burn is uh, yeah. lit. Ah, this is the one. Exhaust oh. pipe. Uh, <laughs> so you put your... You put your firewood. Wood. You put your firewood inside. Wood and wood. Like this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. This way. Uh -huh. uh huh. Then you light. Yeah, you put a fire here. Okay. Mm. So it will go mm. direct that way. That's then the smoke. Uh, yes. There. The smoke will come this way. Exhaust. Yeah, from, uh, from this this exhaust pipe now. Mm -hmm. mm. Wait, I saw some pipes like this inside the barn. Mm. What are their importance? The what are they used for? Those ones there. Uh -huh. They do not produce heat. Heat from here to go this to this oven. Mm. Mm -hmm. You put fire here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This oven is built in the barn long, you climbed over it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. From there, you connect the pipe here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It goes around throughout the barn. Mm -hmm. The more heat you put here, mm -hmm. the pipes, metallic, receive the heat, heat. circulates in the barn, mm -hmm. heating up. Ah. The thermometer tells you how the leaves are, mm -hmm. which temperature they need. Mm -hmm. So you come to control. If it is too low, you mm -hmm. add. Yes. Mm -hmm. If it's too high, you reduce. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. This is the exhaust. Mm -hmm. We can follow this pipe mm -hmm. from the oven. Mm -hmm. It comes, mm -hmm. it goes throughout the barn. Mm -hmm. You see here? Yeah, this is the pipe. The oven is here. Guys, uh, my camera went off automatically because it was heating up. So I had to move to the next place. So here I am at another homestead. Hey, the sun is setting, it's so beautiful. So here's another homestead, but then with the same barn. And uh, right here, the barn is in function. So we are just going to see how it functions. Here's the barn, still very high, just as the other one. So we're going to continue with the explanations from, from here. Okay. One, two. Mm -hmm. Where did we stop? Oh, this one is in uh, the process. Light, light, the fire is mm. on. Let me not get closer because the GoPro will hit again. Mm. <laughs> Guys, this one is uh, in the process. As you can see, there's wood that is burning inside there. So I guess if we open and go inside, it will be very hot. Mm. Yeah, but then this is where it's light. It's lit from. And then the heat circulates all over inside the barn. And... Uh, how, do we say it roasts or it burns the leaves? Kiwas. Kiwas. Yeah. Kiwaring. Yeah. Like the way you do kiwaring to buildings. No, you pour water. You cure. This is... <laughs> ah, no, yeah. That is different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the heat from here circulates all over and it cures the leaves. Yeah. So that is the process of curing tobacco leaves to where they are ready for what? They are ready for smoking. That's the whole process. The firewood here. 
heavy duty. <laughs> so there's firewood. This is the firewood that is used for uh, curing. for curing. Exactly. They are the ones that are used inside the barn over yeah, there. Yeah. Okay, what stage is your curing? It's now loud. Huh? It's now yellow. It it has it has become yellow. It's now. Mm -hmm. uh, now the leaves have started curing, mm -hmm. but the mid ribs are still wet. Oh. Uh, How many days to go for yes. it to be ready? Uh, like two to three days now. Oh. Mm. Can you open it? Yeah. See how it looks like briefly so that the heat doesn't escape. Mm. Yeah. 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 Can I open? Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's open and see how far the leaves are. It will be too hot. Uh -huh. Hey guys, it's too hot inside here. But then you can also you can see the pipes that you were explaining the other time before the Go GoPro went off. That's where you see that stuff over there, that's where the wood is. So heat is transmitted from that place using the metallic pipes uh, and uh, it heats up the whole stuff. You can see the leaves are not yet that dry. You can see there's still there's still some time or some stage left for it to be that dry. Yeah, I can't touch the pipe. They are metallic and they are very hot. <laughs> and there's no heat that should escape. So they are sealed with uh, clay. You see, that is clay that seals them so that heat doesn't go out. Do you have the thermometer? No. Oh, you don't have the thermometer. So it's okay. Uh, as I'm used to now, I just see this temperature can bring up this. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> estimate. Uh, yeah, he estimates. Uh, so that is it. Maybe you just close so that the heat cannot escape. Uh, yes. So guys, I hope you've seen the process. That's the whole process. I guess I have to stop right here because I'm running out of battery. But that is the process of curing tobacco leaves from the garden when they are plucked till they get ready. Thank you so much for watching this video. It has been amazing and uh, I'm so happy to host you. Uh, it has been an amazing evening as we do an evening walk in the villages in Uganda. And I'm so happy, I'm learning a lot and I appreciate so much. So it's a bye-bye for me. Let's meet in the next one. Adios, amigos.